This weekend, as part of the international Thy Kingdom Come wave of prayer from Ascension Day to Pentecost in Winchester Diocese, we've had a 24-hour prayer wave on Zoom called the Upper Room. Different people from around the diocese were leading each hour, all the way from 8 in the morning. Last week I had been struggling with anxiety. I'm in the extremely vulnerable shielding category and as the world seemed to be starting to open up, last week particularly I was really struggling with feeling more isolated and how different people's experiences really are so different this season. I'm particularly missing seeing different people and the interesting conversations that open up. So I decided to treat our 24 hour prayer day with the diocese as a mini retreat for me at home, knowing that I would get to see different people from across the diocese throughout the day. I've got ADHD and sensory processing disorder amongst other things, so I'm not always great at paying attention or following sound. But my wonderful friend Audrey was amazing and picked up a canvas for me from a friend Jack at Hope Weavers and brought it to me, because one of the challenges with shielding is losing so much independence. So I set up Zoom in my own upper room here in Pennington. I've changed our spare bedroom to be the space used for recording services and I've got photos of the congregation around the walls. Locally we've nicknamed this the upper room. So in my upper room I had a computer set up with Zoom and a webcam. I got out all my paints and brushes and paper and pencil. I had no idea what I was going to paint but waited to see what would happen in the prayer time. Through the day, each hour started with us saying the Lord's Prayer together and then the host led prayers in many different ways. I had agreed to lead the 1am to 2am slot as I'm a night owl and I led Hope Weaver's night prayer and as part of that showed people how to draw their own freehand Celtic knots. This is inspired by the fabulous work of Mary Fleeson in the Lindisfarne Scriptorium and her amazing little book, The Freehand Celtic Knot Manual. Although if doodling's not your thing, you like colouring, she does some amazing multicoloured prayer books and meditations too. Because I was going to be showing people how to do freehand Celtic knots, it reminded me I could use that too. And I wrote out the Lord's Prayer to make sure I got the words in the right order. I suspect I'm not the only one that gets them muddled. And then I counted the letters, punctuation and the spaces. And should you ever need to know, in what I wrote out, 327. And I doodled the idea then of how I might fit the whole of the Lord's Prayer into a knot, a sort of wiggly knot going round. And through the morning, different people leading prayer used different images. And one of them was the Charles, Charlie Makes the image of the prodigal son that's been used in the C of E reflections during the week. And I decided I wanted to try and incorporate this amazing image into my painting too, and the Thy Kingdom Come logo. So I printed them out to help me to draw them in. I set up my phone to record time lapse of what I was doing, which will show, which also means you get to see how often I get distracted or focus on the computer. And I also did some tech support for the dances and prayer thing through the evening and night too. So I started with drawing the knot onto the canvas and painting in the outline. I hadn't decided yet what colours I'd been using, I would be using, I hope that would emerge during the day. In the top corner, I drew in the Thy Kingdom Come logo and I use rainbow colours reminding us of the fabulous diversity of God's kingdom here and what's to come. In the bottom corner I knew the words here would be on earth as in heaven and throughout Lent we'd been following the God's Care for Creation booklet and had created a large version of the earth image so I added that in here on the painting. In the bottom left corner we have forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. One of the things I find hardest to do and I took a photo of my own hands with ribbon, symbolising holding something and being willing to let it go. And then I painted in a version of Charlie Makesy's image of the prodigal son, this really powerful image of knowing the father is always there with arms willing to welcome us home. This image seemed particularly striking in this season where hugs just aren't possible even with those we might want to hug. I'm autistic, touch isn't always great for me, so I'm fortunate this season it is actually giving me relief from some of the touch that is usually expected of me. And then I painted in the words, is this where I confess that I may have used the calligraphy bible a lot during the prayer day to help me to draw the letters to know how what shape to make them. And I kept checking my writing to make sure I got the words in the right order and spelt correctly. It's a slightly hybrid, mostly contemporary Lord's Prayer, but a little bit traditional words because I wanted to keep the words thy kingdom come here in the logo. 
Bishop David phoned me at five to eight to see if I'd be willing to talk about the painting in the start of the final hour that he was leading with Bishop Debbie. At that point, I had just the amen left to paint of the words. The last hour of our diocesan wave of prayer joined with people from across the diocese and led by two of our bishops up to nine o'clock in the morning on Pentecost Sunday. Remembering that first Pentecost morning when the disciples huddled together in an upper room, in, room not yet aware of the spirit that was coming and then recognising the transformation, the power of the spirit. I am really glad to have taken part in our wave of prayer and so pleased with how this painted Lord's Prayer has worked out. Next Sunday, the liturgical colour changes to green as we start on Trinity season, ordinary time. This year, ordinary time seems far from ordinary as we all continue to work out how to live and flourish in this season. Perhaps more than ever, I will be praying the Lord's Prayer, a reminder of living in the moment, trusting God in even this of offering ourselves to live, your will be done. I painted the final bits in on the painting in the, in the day, finishing it 36 hours after starting, and then I had a very long sleep. Several people have been asking if they can get hold of prints of the image, as well as of other images I've painted recently and used in our worship here. So I've made them available on redbubble.com. Just need to search for Pennington Church so that you can purchase prints, cards, bags, t-shirts, whatever you like with the images on it. Profits from the sales will go to Pennington Church to support our continuing ministry in this place. Here are some examples of things using the Red Tree of Life painting that's been on the wall behind me in worship during Easter season. An acrylic block, um, some cards and a bag. Anyway, feel free to browse our shop and you're welcome to purchase your own print of this. Happy Pentecost, everyone.